You see them everywhere now, even in the sweltering majesty of Ocean City. They come on bicycles, hoverboards, even sometimes on foot. They are on the hunt for monsters, and they are relentless. I am a weak old man surrounded by enemies. Thank goodness for these young ones who are strong and steadfastly protect me. But the Pokemon are everywhere. And one night, I decided to go with the young ones on a hunt. An ill wind was blowing from the west and my young companions only had a few minutes to hunt before their mother was taking them for ice cream. So we had to work fast. Okay, so this is your little avatar person. And these like represent the blocks. So then you go around looking for monsters. These are the ones that are nearby. So those are the ones. All right, let's go for a hunt. Let's go. Okay. I also have, we should walk this way towards the pokey stops. Have you ever gotten one? Yeah, I'm on level 14. I felt safe when the boy boasted about reaching level 14. But was he telling the truth? I could only hope. Level 14? Mm -hmm. Such a liar. Is that a Pokemon or a car? It's a car. Uh, uh, shoot. The boy and the younger girl are Catholic, and I explained to them that the family would be giving one of them to the mother church. Since neither volunteered, a best two out of three rock, scissors, and paper was hastily arranged. Life is funny, and thinking back over the years, I was surprised at which child won this greatest of familial honors. Cameron is going to become a Catholic priest, and he is practicing the way of suffering by walking barefoot on extremely pebbly ground. Is that man a Pokemon, possibly? No. Okay, I bet he is. Shh, I bet he one. is. Ooh, it looks strangely human. I have. <laughs> you have one? No, not yet. But when there's leaves like popping up, yeah, what is that? They're near. They're near. I think. Well, uh, Sir, are I'll you a Pokemon by any chance? A what? A Pokemon? I hope not. All right. They say that. They say that right. to fool us. I think that's because I've seen this one. Do you think it's possible that that? creature that looked like a human adult was actually a Pokemon. Oh yeah, for sure. I think so too. These girls are so trusting, they don't believe. There's another one. Also, there's these things which mark like things. That's, it's the sun, moon street that's coming up. Okay. You know? Uh oh, skateboarding Pokemon. All right, any any sightings? No. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. So, yeah. It's like literally right there. Yeah, I could have that. Pokemon. Right there. Oh, look. I think we found one. They look very much like gummy bears. I think we're getting too far afield, you guys. All right, what just happened is very disappointing. Sophia had gotten a Pokemon, but just as she sp spotted it, Terry called with an ice cream call. And so I took the call and then the Pokemon disappeared. So we never actually saw the creature. Bitterly yeah. disappointing. It was bitterly disappointing, but I guess so. Did it look like that guy with the motorcycle at all? It, no, but I mean, they can disguise their identity. Exactly. In fact, you guys could be Pokemons. Why yeah. didn't I realize that oh, earlier? Yeah. You could be a Pokemon. Oh my God. You're right. Suddenly, it happened. Oh, did you find one? No, Steph, you look. Okay, wow. So then I have to shoot him, and then if I got him my first try, and then you capture him in this little thing. 
And before he escapes, you have to. Nah. Gotcha. All right. Look, Dodo with car. He's oh a, my God! He's Good job. Tall. He did look a little bit like that guy with a motorcycle. That's one less monster to worry about. And thanks to these remarkable youngsters, all of Ocean City will sleep just a little bit safer tonight.